Hi, my name is Jamila McCarthy, and I am a member of the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force female basketball team. I started playing basketball, I think it was standard four going into standard five, when I attended Maloney Government Primary School. There I found a love for the game, I found a love for the sport, I found a love for just being around basketball. I also have basketball blood in my family. Okay, uh, my sister, who goes by the name Patrice Edwards, she played for one of the, the top universities in the US, which was Texas Tech University. So basketball was always around me, was always a, a thing for us. I used to watch her go into games, watch her go into training, and I would always, I would always go. You know, some sometimes I would dress up and I would be the first one ready, just to go and watch basketball. Basketball has impacted my life in so many beautiful ways. Not only being able to travel and meet new people, it opened a lot of doors and a lot of opportunities for me. Um, education-wise, just being able to, to, to develop as a human, to, to develop as a female. It taught me how to be on time, it taught me how to be disciplined, it taught me how to be dedicated, it taught me how to be determined, you know, going after things you want. It taught me how to, how to work as a team and work together because it is a team sport. Some of the challenges faced with female basketball here in Trinidad and Tobago is us not having enough basketball to play. Um, not enough leagues, not enough tournaments, not enough development programs for the youths, those who are coming up, let's say, primary school to secondary school. And when you leave secondary school, there isn't enough basketball playing, and that's the only way you will develop your skill and you will become better at the sport when you keep doing it and you keep doing it at different levels, you know. So that is one of the challenges, not having development programs in schools and out of schools. Yes, you, you know you're looking for benefits and you're looking to, to improve yourself and whatnot, but sometimes it just takes the individuals or a group of people to just be like here yeah, what well, let's put things in place so we can develop our future for female basketball my advice for female basketballers that's coming up is you can be whatever you want to be in this life you know basketball is a beautiful sport a competitive sport it have its ups, it have its downs, you know, it teach you a lot. Work hard, as I said, be determined, be dedicated and be disciplined. Those are the three Ds that I think, not I think, that I know once you follow, you would be the best version of you as an athlete and as a basketball player. My hope for female basketball here in Trinidad and Tobago, I hope it could get back to the way it used to be. Um, having leagues, having competitions, having programs, having camps, being exposed to, 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 to different levels of basketball, um, being able to represent our country because I'm positively sure to have young ones praying and hoping that they know things work out so that one day they can represent their country and say that I played basketball for you know Trinidad and Tobago. Just to basically just bring back the flow of, of female basketball and, and the way things used to be. So with all that being said, it's my time now. It's her time now.